Well, a theater on Broadway where the musical Six is currently playing was officially renamed today in honor of legendary Lena Horne. The entertainer who died back in 2010 was one of a few movie stars of color during the 1940s, but she got her start at the Cotton Club in Harlem when she was just a teenager. Her career embraced movies, television, nightclubs, and Broadway, and she was also very active in the civil rights movement for more than half a century. Entertainer reporter Sandy Canyon is here now with the story. Sandy. Liz, New York City. City's Mayor Eric Adams and Governor Kathy Hochul were among those who came to salute the entertainer who broke so many barriers during a long and productive life. And given the obstacles faced by Lena Horne, it's fitting her signature song was titled Stormy Weather. Her talent and temperament were remembered today by those who'd known her and those she inspired. History was made in the theater district when Lena Horne became the first black woman to have a theater named in her honor. And they paid tribute to her the best way they knew how, the way she would have appreciated. Don't know why there's no sun up in the sky. Stormy weather. She opened so many doors for us that you know, we as, as, as people of color can thank her for being a, a beacon of light. The beacon was born in Bed-Stuy. Lena Horn. More than 40 years have passed since the lady and her music got a special Tony Award. A dozen years after her death, her legacy remains meaningful to those Lena Horne inspired as an entertainer, but also as an activist. Yeah, major civil rights activist and someone who just refused to accept uh, what people were giving uh, at that time in history and just decided to, like, you know, be a voice for the African American community. And so we admire that so much. The new name came after a theater which opened back in 1926 was renovated. The final result? most becoming to this legend. What we are saying is that the great white way must have some chocolate on it also. Mayor Adams, Lena Horne was an honorary member of the Delta Sigma Theta sorority, and she worked with the organization to support black women in the arts. Members of the historically black sorority were urged to come and represent at today's festivities, which they did along with Lena Horne's granddaughter, Jenny Lamette, and her great-grandchildren.